Hello out there again YouTube, John back again. Uh, as promised, going to be doing the retrospective video here on the Pioneer CLD 606. Uh, that's the one you see lit up, the one below that's my CLD 1070. We're shooting this video in my bat cave, so just want to let you know the 1070 is my main player for the bat cave. Uh, this one doesn't have auto side change or anything, but since I sit pretty close to the TV, I don't mind uh, sitting up and flipping the disc over every now and again. So. Well, anyway, a little uh, story behind how I got this thing. I ended up picking it up yesterday in Chicago, won it off eBay. Uh, got it home, uh, played it, works perfectly fine. You know, have no issues to speak of. So anyway, a little history on the 606 series. Uh, this player was actually manufactured in 1997. Uh, the year before that, they also introduced the Pioneer 605. Now, back in those days, DVD was starting to take over. So in 96, 97, that's when they introduced the uh, DVD uh, laser disc combo players and you know if you didn't want to get a combo player these were the ones that you had to get because they weren't put in the 704 series which is you know arguably the best non-elite series out there you know they weren't putting those into production anymore they just had these so anyway uh, I actually own a 704 and as much as I love that player there's a you know there's one big issue with it you know that doesn't affect the 6 series at all I also own a 605 by the way so anyway so a little history, you know, the whole reason I'm doing this video anyway, I forgot to tell you guys, is a lot of people like to bash the 6 Series, you know, for a lot of reasons, but, you know, I don't bash the thing, I actually like the 6 Series a lot, they're very good players, uh, so I just want to debunk a few theories in them. So anyway, uh, one of the big problems that certain LaserDisc players have, and this mainly affects the, uh, the 503, the 603, and the 703, also 704, is that uh, they were all made the same way. And the problem with those players was that uh, the rubber ring that was used to clamp down the disc uh, was prone to build up a lot of a lot of gunk build up on their gunk and oil and everything like that. And after time, that would cause your disc to slip. And when your disc slipped, the uh, auto sight change didn't work. The chapter access wasn't that fast. So the way to alleviate that problem is you had to open it up, and then you had to use either a Q-tip or rubbing alcohol to clean the rubber ring. But beyond, let's be honest, guys, that's just a band-aid on the problem. The main way to alleviate that problem is by buying a product called Chamois Sticks and then using rubbing alcohol on that. And you uh, scrub that pad nice and clean. That gets all the junk out of there. And it actually helps out you know, your player. Your player will work perfectly fine again. You know, I've had that problem on my 704. And after I used the Chamois Sticks, it's been about five months now since I last used it. And I haven't had a single slip. So that was a good investment. Well, the, the 6 Series... They knew that there was a pro, you know, they knew about the problem. So the way they did it was they actually manufactured these players with a better rubber on the ring, and it wasn't as prone to get all the buildup on there. As a matter of fact, if it did actually get buildup, the player still wouldn't slip because of the way it made contact with the disc. It was just a lot better. So you know that's one good reason to have a six series is because it's not prone to disc slippage, as, as one would put it. Uh, another reason it's a good player, uh, it actually has pretty good picture quality. Now. You know, compared to the 7 Series, the 703, 704, and even again so compared to the, the CLD-79 or the CLD-97 or the CLD-99, you know, though this player's not going to give off as good of a picture as those, but, you know, regardless, the picture quality is still very good. You know, what a lot of people don't know is that there's a video-to-noise ratio, I think, on the 704, 703, it's 49 decibels. This one's actually only at 50 decibels, so they actually did care about, you know, the type of picture quality output you're going to get. Um... The thing that uh, this doesn't have, that the 703, 704 has, and also the 99 has, is a video, video digital noise reduction. Now, while this player doesn't have noise reduction, but it does have, you know, as you can see the light lit up there, it has picture control. Now, when you don't have that engaged, this picture actually, or excuse me, this player actually gives off a very soft looking picture. When you enable picture control, it actually introduces a little bit of sharpness to the picture, and, you know, it makes it look a heck of a lot better, you know, it looks more, you know, a lot more detailed. So again, you know, unjust bashing, you know, while it may not have as good a picture quality as the higher ups, you know, it's not a slouch in that department, it's still a very good player. Um, another thing it has, you know, it's, a, it's also modern, you know, it has an AC3 out, which is very good to have. It also has a toss link output, which, you know, unfortunately the 505, which is the step down, uh, doesn't have a toss link and only has the analog outs, so you really can't do, you know, the PCM lossless, or you neither you can't do DTS if you have DTS discs. Uh, this player can actually do DTS discs. It can do the 2.0 PCM lossless through the toss link, you know. So you know that's a really good thing to have. You know, very a very good thing. And again, unjust bashing. You know, um, one final thing I like about this player 
is that uh, the side change on this thing is phenomenally fast. Uh, the 703, 704 series, also the 99, those have very fast side changes, but this thing, you know, it blows it out of the water. It's like a few seconds faster. You know, it's a lot quicker when it accesses the discs. It uses a different type of laser in there. I mean, they, of course, they probably put a newer and better laser assembly in there. So, you know, that aside, you know, it's very, very fast. So, but anyway, well, now that you guys have seen this video, hopefully, you know, I can, I've debunked a few theories about the 6 Series. Uh, again, if you ever catch one on eBay or Craigslist and if someone's letting them go for a good price, by all means, pick it up. You know, they're a good player to have. You know, I myself am not going to use this as a main player. It's going to be a backup, but it's a backup I'm very happy to have in case one of my 704s ever breaks down. So, on that note, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.